Prime Minister Muhyiddin Yassin just announced yesterday that the government will implement a movement control order starting tomorrow, 18th March until 31st of March 2020 as a safety measure for COVID-19. <laughs> but guys, ni not lockdown tau, bukan perintah berkurung. You just need to limit your time outdoors and practice social distancing. For those who are still confused, here's what a movement control order means for Malaysia. Number one, all mass movements and gatherings including religious, cultural, sports are prohibited in this period. And unfortunately, that includes weddings, lah, right? I know, I know how difficult it must be. I even have friends postponing their weddings already. But we must take this situation seriously. If not, ah, things will escalate. Then later, Number two, Malaysians cannot travel abroad and those returning home must undergo health checks and practice self-quarantine for 14 days. Number three, tourists and foreigners are not allowed to enter Malaysia in this period. And are all kindergartens, schools, universities, colleges, you know, basically all educational institutions are closed until 31st of March. And of course, all essential services and businesses will stay open. So banks, pharmacy, you know, food supply, um, electricity, water, so can calm down. Okay, now if you're wondering, ala, work from home je kan? Or, you know, cuti because you're a student. Can you just like balik kampung, or pergi gym, jalan-jalan? No, best not to because the whole point of this is to limit human contact as much as possible. And just because domestic travel isn't restricted, don't ah, suddenly I want to go holiday ah, road trip to Penang lah, Ipoh lah. I want to eat chicken rice, I want to eat nasi kat. Don't. Please. The point here is to contain whatever that's happening and prevent COVID-19 from spreading further. Next, food supplies. Does this mean you have to stock up on groceries for the next two weeks? Yes and no. Okay, if you really tak out clue throughout this period, then okay lah, go ahead. But buy only what is necessary. Don't la buy as if you're stocking up until 2030. Our Prime Minister has assured that there will be no food shortage. And this means that food supplies will be restocked over the next couple weeks. But that's it, I see a lot of people scolding Malaysians who are panic buying and hoarding. Okay, 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 I completely disagree with people hoarding too. But the reality here is that people are really worried because they fear the worst and they just want to feed and take care of their family. But even your worst fears don't justify hoarding because when you do that, other people will suffer. Kau dah beli semua benda, aku makan apa? Angin? Ha? Hati? Don't. So selfish. Please. Ah well, silver lining. At least we are not running out of toilet rolls because in Malaysia, we wash our And please stop hoarding sanitizers. Just wash your hands and your body with sabun buku lah. Cukup bagus, cukup bersih dulu kini selamanya basuh. Okay, conclusion. This is a tough time for Malaysia, but we can get through this together if we listen to the health authorities and follow the directives. Trust the experts. Don't panic. Don't spread unverified information via WhatsApp. Aunties, uncles, children. And don't forget to file your taxes. And remember, work from home is still work from home. Bukan cuti, okay?